Hi there, and good morning. Welcome to day three of my Camino del Norte 2023. So, I had a reasonable night in that hostel, um, in a room with eight other people. Um, but in the end, uh, it got very stuffy during the night. Um, there was somebody who was snoring, another woman who had a terrible cough um, and kept waking me up. I had to get up, uh, find my earplugs and put them in. And then later on in the morning, I had to wake up to go to the toilet. Anyway, my alarm went off at 6.30. Um, I got packed up um, and I left the hostel. I was the second person to leave and I'm now walking back along the Concha, hoping to find um, a place where I can get some breakfast. It's so quiet. Uh, birds singing, chirping, but nothing else. There's a tractor or something just ahead on the left-hand side. But apart from that, uh, everything is good. If I look over to the right, I can see the sea. And straight ahead of me is just the pathway of the Camino. So it's a nice sunny day today. But there is a bit of a breeze, so that's nice been walking with the poles and they've been keeping me steady useful when going up and down hills I think I've got a good rhythm with them now and that's good they really do help and uh, I'm so pleased that I've got them uh, got to find out a way of walking with the poles filming with the camera drinking water doing all of that good stuff all at the same time without losing anything or getting lost along the way. Everything's good. I'm going to try some 360 footage. I've got my camera with me in my pocket. So let's see how it goes. It's 10.40 in the morning and look up ahead it looks like there's a bar or a place where people are sitting outside my goodness me I need a coffee and a drink urgently that was very interesting a godsend so I had a cup of coffee managed to fill my water bottle and they had some nice cake there it was a donativa so that's good now the woman there says that the town of Oreo is about four kilometers away, but there is no albergue for pilgrims there. There used to be one, but the woman that ran it died, and then there was no one who took it over. So that's a bit sad to hear that. Just going down this rocky path here, gotta be careful, these stones could be slippery. And what do you know? It's about three kilometers now to the town of Oreo and we'll see what that's like when I get there. Definitely want to stop for some lunch, as I just said. But uh, yeah, this is good hiking, but it is hard work. Of course it's hard work. I mean, what else could it be?
as nice as this town is, uh, I'm gonna have to move on. I think there's nowhere to stay tonight. Everything is full. Uh, so using booking.com, I've got a place in the next big stopping point, Zarauth. And uh, yeah, just gonna have to pay the money, I'm afraid. Uh, that's the way it is. Okay, so this is uh, home for tonight in this hotel private room. I'm on my own. I've got a funny shaped shower and toilet, but I don't mind that. Anyway, it's been a long day. Yeah. According to my watch, I've walked 24 kilometers today. So I think that's uh, far enough. I'm exhausted and I'm gonna have a good night's rest for sure.